Last is Anastasia, sorry, Ingrid Bergman and Yul Brynner. This is my first Yul Brynner film. I don't know how I feel about him, honestly. He was kind of rough, and he wasn't attractive. Everyone said he was, but I don't know, not really. Um, but for some reason, I thought he was Asian. I don't know why, but I always thought he was, like, an Asian actor, but he was Russian, so... That blew my mind, because I thought, for some reason, I don't know why I thought he was, but he's not, he wasn't. Um, but, it was just, I liked it, actually, but, um, he kind of grew on me after a while, but, in the beginning, I thought he was just really mean, and I didn't like him. I was like, oh. Um, but Anastasia is about... Um, Ilmanov, you know, they were killed, which is so hor horrible, it's so awful, but they were shot, um, you know, killed. But there was a rumor that Anastasia survived, um, because when they went to remove the body, the third was missing, so they thought that, um, she actually lived. So, this movie was based on that, um, theory, but at the time the movie was made, they really had no uh, evidence that she was alive or dead, so it was a possibility still that she could have been alive. Um, I think they found her remains, um, I... I think it wasn't that long ago, actually. I don't know. I feel like that was a thing that happened not long ago when they found Anastasia's body or her remains. But, um, yeah, um, but apparently she did die that day. But, um, they don't really, I don't really understand because then her body was moved, but, um, wasn't there. But then others say that she was hidden by some uh, with someone else. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it was just rumor that she was still alive. That's all. Um, because her and her sisters, they um, sold all their jewelry into their um, jackets that they were wearing, and it became like an armor and. They couldn't kill them because of the jewelry, uh, but then they said that they were stabbed instead, and that killed them. But like I said, they said that her body was missing, so... Yeah, who knows about that. Um, and even if she was alive, there's no one that could have said if it was her or not. Not even herself, because she wouldn't have any memory of that. Um... But, um, I don't know. So it's like kind of that thing where it's like she might have been alive, but then she might not have been. But there was really no one that could tell whether she was or not. Um, yeah. But, um, I just think the Romanov situation was just so heartbreaking, though. But, ugh. um, but this movie I gave. Four out of five stars, but honestly, I'd get like four and a half out of five stars because the ending could kind of end it, and I was just like, well, I want to see this go a little longer. I wanted to see um, the situation play out that there were that was going on, but he didn't show it. It was just like an end. I was like, no. <laughs> No, it was a little short, <laughs> but, um, yeah, but it is good. That's a good movie. I never thought before. It's off April 1st, so that's kind of why I watched it last night, because I was like, okay. It's been in my instant, uh, queue for a long time, so I just finally watched it. Um, it was good. And this is my fourth in Good Bergman film. Willing to see more of her work. And this is, like I said, my first Brenner film. And like I said, I don't know how I feel about him. It's, really, but, um... 
But uh, that is all. Goodbye. Mm.